I decided to do a makeup tutorial for you guys because it's September now and you know fall season is like approaching like very very quickly and I haven't posted on my Instagram in a bit so like this would be a perfect opportunity because I could post on my YouTube and my Instagram at the same time you know like multitasking 101 I'm going to do my primer and my brows so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my brow definer for my brows, and I'm gonna use this primer with the baby skin primer as well. So for my eyes, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Prism Palette and the BH Cosmetics um, Carly Bible Palette. Um, this palette is no longer available, but this is a very easily like dupable palette and most of us, or if you are starting into makeup, you should have like most of these shades already in different palettes. Um, it's a very, very easily dupable palette. so. Um, I'm pretty sure this one is also not available um, because it was a limited edition palette, but um, the colors that I'm going to be using are not going to be very hard to find either. So for like an all over like eye shade or transitioning shade, I'm going to be using this one right here. So I stopped recording, but I just like put the shade in. To build up the color, I'm going to be using this one from the palette, and I'm basically just going to be building up the shade even more. So now with the same brush, I'm going to go in with this palette and I'm going to go into Saturn and Parallel a little bit. Um, and kind of just define the outer corner of my eye, I guess. Now I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. like cream contour kit and I'm going to use this like concealer shade right here and I'm just going to lightly like cut the like crease I'm not going to go all the way but I'm kind of just going to like do like a half cut crease I guess So as like a base, I'm going to apply this shade right here, um, like where I have the concealer and I'm kind of just going to like pat it in to kind of like give it like a, um, to give it a base for the actual shade I'm going to be putting on top. Whoa. Okay. And now for like the actual good stuff, I'm going to be using this color, this ColourPop eyeshadow. Um, and it's like wow, like. So now I'm going to try to add wings to it. I don't know, this might fuck up the look, but I'm going to try. I'm going to be using this um, Wet n Wild Mega Liner in dark brown. It pretty much looks like a black, but we're going to try it. Yo, I actually did decent on the line, like the wings. 
they look decent um because i usually have really bad luck obviously they're not like the same like angle but they look decent so congratulations to me that already has set in i'm going to be using the wet and wild photo focus foundation this is the closest shade match to me i think in my opinion um and like it's pretty full coverage it's good for taking pictures and i overall it's like a really good foundation so like it's five dollars like go get that bitch because mm -hmm, she's great Um, obviously, I feel like my face would have been a lot more full of coverage if I used a brush because that's always what I do. I always go in with, um, brush? with either of these brushes and I usually like stipple in my foundation first and then I go in with a beauty blender and like mix all that shit in. <laughs> shit! Oh my god! I'm such a liar. Well, I was going to do um, some color correcting because, you know, I was supposed to be doing a, like, full beat. Um, and this is kind of like a full beat already, but uh, here is the color correcting. Um, I can't really do that now because I already applied my foundation and I think I just scratched a bit of it off and I'm mad. I'm going to conceal with the Maybelline Fit Me and I'm going to cream contour with this e.l.f. contouring kit. So now that I've put literal shit on my face, I'm going to blend it all out and um, afterwards I'm going to be using this um, contour kit and I'm going to be using this shade right here to like kind of set the contour. I'm also gotten really pale because now my face looks, I look like an Oompa Loompa a little bit. But uh, now for a highlight, I'm going to take this brush right here and I'm gonna dip into this fabulous highlighter that I own. And it's like really one of my like For mascara, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Full and Soft Mascara. So I actually ended up um, putting on my lip product as well. Um, and I changed the lashes, I decided to use these instead. Um, and for the lips, where is the I used the Kylie Gloss in literally and 
just the regular clear lip gloss by LA Colors. That's going to be it for this video. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more makeup tutorials. And I will post some pictures on my Instagram of this look if you want to see it um, more up close and more detailed. So yeah, um, look out for that. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.